from Netflix, David Rosenberg! You guys are crazy! Wow! I don't even know that guy, and he got up for me! That guy's wearing a button-down short, uh, shirt and gym shorts. That guy's a mess! I don't know. Are you okay? Did you, are you lost? Is one of these your hu husband? Is that, ma'am, do you own that one? You need to keep better control of him and dress him better. That is a mess, but thank you. You're my biggest fan. Are you guys a family? Is that what that is? You guys, you're a family and that's your dad? I know that, I know your brothers. You're the one with the house and he's the one who sleeps on your couch in your house. I can see that. No? Okay. And is that your dad over there? No. I can't see. I, okay. Is that your wife? Okay. You guys seem thrilled about that. Is that your wife? Oh, mine. Yes. That's... I guess I still love her. We're only here so we don't have to talk to each other, but... Talk more about my brother. He's an alcoholic. Let's do this. I don't, I don't know. We don't have to fight. Here's the thing. I'm Jewish. Jews don't fight. We sue. It's different. <laughs> I pick a fight, and then my lawyer calls. He's like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm at Flappers in Burbank. He's not wearing pants. We're not making money. <laughs> oh, that was weird. I didn't expect that. Is that your other wife? Who's that? That's his wife? That makes sense. Because she's seating as far away from him as possible. <laughs> like, that wife loves her husband. She's like, I love him. He doesn't love her, but she's like, I love him. I'm gonna sit behind him and hug him during the show. And she's like, no, stay away, Dave. You've had way too much to drink. You wouldn't even wear pants. Are you wearing shoes? What's going on? <laughs> no, I don't want to see that. I right. making weird choices. Do you guys have kids? No? That's a good choice, too. That was probably too far. All right, I feel okay about this. You guys look nice. That's a heavy chain. I'm gonna stay away from you. That is a lot of chainage for cargo shorts. All right, this is a weird show. This is all the weird. Her hand is in his lap, so they're gonna have fun later. No, it's cool. It gives me something to watch while I'm on stage. Like, uh, you guys get to watch me. I get to watch you give him a hand job. So, it's probably too far. I wanted to be clean. I'm sorry about that. They're not happy about that. They don't like hand jobs, but. He's excited. I thought she was with him. Is that your, you have a threesome? It just because just they're large and black, you get two women? Is that how this works? You're the first black guy in Burbank. Come on in. We got two women for you. One's a white woman, one's an Asian. We're having the UN over at your house later on tonight. I don't know if you guys are all together. And then, oh, this is cute. Like, this is like the UN over here. It's like Asian guy, Asian lady, black guy, uh, white lady. I'm gonna get that wrong. I can't, you're Italian? That's white, ma'am, stop, stop it. You, you gotta, I know you're fighty, you're Italian. Like, I'm Italian! I'm like, I know, you can tell us about your Sunday sauce later. I apologize, Sunday gravy, all right. But you're still white, right? I have Moorish blood! I don't think you're allowed to say that. I, I'd see, Sicilian, I know that, see, fighty. All right, I'm still staying away from the chain. And then a black guy, a guy whose race I'm gonna get wrong. Are you? You got good hair for a Jew. Look at this. You, my hair is awful. You have like straight out of like Haifa hair. That's, are you Israeli? That's fantastic. Oh, you are? Oh, I won't mess with you because you guys are the Jews with guns, so. No, it's true. Like, and they're scary. They're all intent. They're like, oh, let's talk about things. They, they yell a lot. Jews feel about uh, uh, Israelis uh, the way uh, white people in America feel about Texans. <laughs> we don't really like them, but it, they have all the guns. So if anything goes, if Hitler comes back, I hide behind that guy. Like, don't be fooled by his long hair. That guy is like, I'm in Mossad. Would you like hummus? Whoa! 
so strong. And whereas me, I look like an accountant, but that long hair, are you, were you in the military? No, no. No, no, I was out. <laughs> oh, okay, we don't have to have it political here, buddy. I'm, I'm just doing a set, not having, a, we're not gonna march on anywhere. Oh God, that got close. God, that was gonna be a fight. Um, I mean, not with me. And then two, are you guys Filipino? Yeah! yeah! It's cheating, it's, it's cheating, because in Southern California, if you don't know someone's race, you always guess Filipino. <laughs> right? If you're like, maybe Mexican, could be Chinese. <laughs> That's a Filipino. <laughs> Especially if they're your nurse. If they are a nurse. Are either of you guys nurses? How many of your sisters are nurses? My brother. Yeah! Like, I don't mean to be so racist, but... I love Filipinos, you guys are fun. Put way too many fish heads in food, but... It's a lot of fish heads. No, no one's else been to Eagle Rock, that's cool. I like you guys too, you guys don't match as well, cause he's like, I'm wearing my NASA shirt, and you're like, I look nice. Are you guys friends? Brothers, lovers, no, 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 nothing. We're not friends. Would you like to get with this family? They're unhappily married over here. This whole table is like, that guy kind of likes his wife. She loves the fuck out of him. Don't ask about his brother, cause they are not happily married. Oh, you got another one. Who's that little woman who joined in? Who's she with? Oh man, I'm gonna cut you off. Um, if anyone wants cocaine, see that guy after the show. That is cocaine right there. Anybody who's like, yeah, I'm wearing shorts and a button down, let's do this. Is my chest here showing enough? No. Ugh. I was gonna ask if you're Persian or Armenian, but now I'm gonna have to fight. No, you're Latino. All right, this is, no. Great, I feel this, I was gonna make jokes and now I'm just starting a race war. That guy's probably got my back, but maybe not. Depends on if any Palestinians show up. He's like, I'm going to the other side! Are you guys Latino? Italian. You're Italian? Yes, I'm Latino. That's a thing? <laughs> that's, that's allowed to happen? Oh man, you must throw all the chanclas then. The Latinos in the front row are like, I know that, that makes sense. I know Latinos, I love Latinos. You guys are the proudest people in the world. You're the proudest people in the world. Here's how you know Latinos are the proudest people. You guys are the only ones who will name your kid Jesus. <laughs> right, there are no French Jesuses. There's no Polish Jesuses. I have seven friends named Jesus Garcia. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Love it. You guys make everything better. Mayonnaise, right? Mayonnaise. Mexicans are like, let's put that on corn. What? <laughs> Have you had a lote? It's delicious. You take corn and then you put on mayo and then you put on a cotija and then you put on butter and then you take a nap for three days because you just had 9,000 calories of the color yellow. Like that's it. Just five colors of yellow and you're like, oh, oh I'm sleeping now. Are you guys a family? How does this work? Do you have two wives? Okay, I feel gross now. <laughs> Unless you're gross. Don't marry your daughter. Are you okay? Do you need me to take you somewhere? I have a selection of men over here. What's your ethnicity, would you like? Unless you like women, I have a very loud Italian lady, which is redundant, so to speak, but... I have a black guy, I have a long-haired Jewish guy, I didn't know it was a thing, but we have them now. And two Filipinos, you can also go with a black guy with the two women. No? This is gonna be a weird car ride home. I do, I love Latinos. Uh, I, know, I know a little Spanish after all my years in Los Angeles. Uh, my favorite word in Spanish is panocha. Yeah! Even the black guy's like, yeah! That was great! Do you know what it means? No? It means pussy. Doesn't that sound delicious? 
Right? Because Pinocha, mmm, pussy. That's a cat, but Pinocha? That sounds like a Mexican breakfast treat. Oh my God, sprinkle that with cinnamon and sugar and dunk it in my coffee. I can see Mexican dads be like, Mommy, what's for breakfast this morning? And her being like, Mi Pinocha! You guys have been fantastic. Thanks, have a great rest of your night. <laughs>